Good evening and welcome to Mazad Cricket Ground. A double header, a second match of this evening. Very, very important match for Tuskers against Falcon Cricket Club. It's going to be a terrific contest. Tusker had lost their first outing and they are coming back very strongly to face against Falcons. They elected to bat first after winning the toss. Had no hesitation from the captain to choose to bat first. Have a look at the Falcon CC's lineup here. Mohammed Shaheen, Samad, Umair, Mohammed, Anas, Nizam, Adnan Khan, Well Naveen Kumar, Walid Ahmed, Tariq Ahmed, Mifta Syrian, Usman Rahat, and Adil Ahmed Muhammad. It's a pretty balanced team. Falcons, after winning their uh, first match in the tournament, they are in sitting on top of the point table with a good run rate. On the other hand, Tusker had a tough opposition the last one. The match they played against Hurricanes. The Hurricanes were too good. Now they need to come back strongly. Have a look at the batting line of, of Tusker. Bukhari, Sanu, Akash Babu, Bipin Kumar, Rifai, Sali Muhammad, Zainuddin Mustafa, Prem Sagar, Nawaf, Shakir Kazim and Muhammad Azruddin. It's going to be a cracking contest between two teams. One won the first outing, the second one needs to get that important two points under their belt. Alongside with me, Mr. Riaz, good evening once again. Welcome back to the Combox. Good evening, Shahzad. <coughs> we had a wonderful competition which happened just a moment ago, which won in the last moment by just a cash drop. So we are moving for the double header now against the Falcons versus uh, Tuskers. Uh, the opening pace is Mohammed and uh, Abdullah, whereas uh, opening the proceedings for uh, uh, Tuskers it is Bipin K. It's all set to go. Bipin Kumar, one of the finest baller in the side of Tusker, after winning the toss. Uh, Falcon had decided to bat first, as we just mentioned. Uh, the captain would be looking forward for those uh, important 140 to 150 runs. As we just talked about the last match, that was the first match we just had uh, between uh, Chargers and Arabian Nights. It was went <coughs> until the wire in the last over. It almost looked like they won the match as a drop catch, which was uh, very, really sad to see those faces towards the end especially the fielder who dropped the catch. It's all happened in this Mazal cricket ground. At this moment, two opening batters, Muhammad and Abdul to face, Muhammad to face first ball, Bipin Kumar charging in. Oh, straight away, what a good start. Straight away creating the pressure to the batsman. As was a very quick delivery up front created by Bipin Kumar. And it's nipping back into the left hand. Wasn't it a good start, or Oh, that was a, that was a really good start. Maybe uh, the inside edge uh, actually saved him. Uh, otherwise, it was uh, curtains for uh, Muhammad at the first delivery itself. So they have to be very consistent because we have seen 105 was very difficult to actually uh, chase down. So be, uh, this fa uh, Tuskers have to be very quick in taking that one. Right on the money, not giving any width whatsoever for the batter to go for. Now they go for an extra run. Captain would be really not happy about this. Uh, they, the baller did well, but the fielders were not. Uh, just allowed the batter to go for a single. It was quite unnecessary. Yes, uh, as I was saying uh, you that okay, the, even the low scores can be actually we can uh, the the, uh, the bowling team can restrict them with a low total as well. So uh, Tuskers have to see that the Falcons should not score more than 100 so that they can easily win this because they are they need to win this match because they have already lost one and they have to win this. It's a must win game. Absolutely, having the reputation of uh, uh, one of the best team playing in this tournament, Tusker need to come back strong. Have a look at this one. The movements little away from the offside. Umpire calls it a wide. Bipin Kumar, uh, one of the finest all-rounder, is predominantly a right arm quick baller. He could be very handy in this uh, power play. They need to have a good performance from this man to take that important wicket up front against opposition team. 
the pitch is giving a uh, movement to not only for the spinners as well as uh, fast bowlers if you have seen this the previous delivery has moved away completely from the batters this one on this occasion it's uh, just played towards that oh asking the question was it a direct hit they're all delighted I reckon the batter has not reached on time is it a wicket the tusker teams are already celebrating let's have a look at the replay goes for that very interesting a risky single pick up and a throw with direct hit and knocked him over yes i reckon this it's not reached a sharp eyes from the fielder they lost a wicket quite unfortunate for the opening batter have to go back to dug out abdul yes shaheen has to go back shaheen played really well by the way in the last outing it's a big fish they have taken in the very first over bipin kumar and the boys delighted that was unnecessary from the non striker to go for that run because they he has seen that there is a fielder over there and uh, unnecessarily it was uh, uh, not required in the first over itself they need not uh, hurry because even singles and doubles actually uh, take the score uh, into a very uh, good total absolutely it is quite unnecessary risk has taken in the first over itself they can really play at least 2 to 3 overs and how the pitch is behaving we have seen the low scoring game just 105 scored in the last one and now the captain has uh, won the toss selected the batter's very interesting call from the captain here we go bipin kumar another one swinging away oh i reckon it's a no ball call by umpire overstepping maybe it's a free hit coming it's all happening in the first over itself it started the match on time this double header is being a super thursday in qatar we are right here in mizaz cricket ground we are enjoying the weekend here at beautiful weather good playing conditions and the guys would be really enjoying out there in the middle well this is a first free hit uh, for the day there was uh, no no ball bowled uh, the whole day today uh, there was just few extras uh, down the leg or maybe bys or a leg bys uh, there's a first uh, no ball no ball uh, before no ball was uh, okay to ball a no ball but right now they have given a free hit which uh, actually give the license to the batsman to throw the bat on anything what it comes absolutely they will have to take the advantage of this uh, free hit delivery they want to get a flying start for the team they know that's uh, pass score in this game they're quite aware of this since they have taken a decision to bat first against a good bowling attack of tusker captain would be definitely looking forward for a good start from their opening batters unfortunately they lost the wicket but this is a chance for them to freeze their arms and to get into a big boundary or six So a little bit of delay there uh, i'll be back with the next delivery bipin kumar has done well okay the free hit uh, delivery is in progress here we go the free hit swing and a miss and just not able to get the connection two balls left in this first over abdul and anas just joined there in the middle Uh, what they need now is a partnership they lost the first wicket in the process of getting a run unnecessary quite risky one they lost uh, the opening batter uh, two of them have to play at least for the next 3 to 4 hours or up to the power play uh, it's key uh, to uh, have the wickets until the power play gets over oh one other one straight one full length and he was planning to play that towards the mid wicket cross the line not a great idea it's a straight ball and uh, bipin is going to complete this over couple of dot deliveries in the last two just three runs on the board one ball to go if they can finish it off with the boundary or bipin kumar is going to create one more dot down the track he comes he'll find the field in the edge of the circle mid off he'll keep the strike so after the first over fcc falcon cricket club 441 
be very interesting to see the point table of this Pro League T20 Ramzan Cup progressing here in Mazar Cricket Ground. Cut a great initiative by QCA. And they brought this tournament in this part of the world. It's beautiful looking weather. And this ground looks fantastic. Gulfar Al Misa is writing there at the top of the table with a good run rate 1.57. Real high flying Gulfar team is too good with those two wins. Four points. CBCC one from one. Farrokhs one. They have lost the match in Asian Cricket Club 2 played and they have lost both. Group B, Hurricanes 1 from 1, they are 2 good as well. Good run rate 1 and Falcon CC 1 from 1. They are up against uh, Tusker. They are in the last row. Here we go. Zainuddin, one of the very finest all-rounder from Qatar. Has played in different various levels of tournaments. Uh, much more experienced. He needs to bring all his experience to get a good start for Tusker here. Yes, uh, and also Falcons have to be very sure that they should not lose a wicket uh, until the power play gets over because wickets are key towards the end of the uh, end of the innings. Trying to go towards the mid wicket as square leg. In fact, he'll just find the fielder, Vipin Kumar, and uh, get a single on this occasion. Normally, Zainu is very quick. It's a quick right arm pace baller. He can create a lot of variations. He uh, can get those uh, in swinging deliveries too good in that. We'll have to wait and see what he has balled four overs in the last innings without any t wickets. Uh, captain would be definitely looking forward for a good performance from one of the senior members in Tusker. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, really key for him. Zeno, his uh, third delivery just uh, nudged it towards the fielder. Uh, not even a single take and a dotted delivery. Good piece of uh, bowling by Zeno. Then he knows uh, his line, he knows his length, uh, he knows what needs to be done so that uh, in the power play overs, uh, there are only a field uh, with the field restriction, he has to know where exactly he has to hit his line and length. Absolutely, having been the reputation of one of the finest ballers playing in this side, uh, Tusker, they've got plenty of match winners in the lineup. Good start, not bad. One run conceded from the first three. Uh, snipping into the right hand batter, slightly away from his pad, just taking a single. Having seen the last performance of, of these two teams in this tournament, as we just saw in the point table. One from one for Falcons. They were very good against uh, Titans on the 4th April. Uh, they're back again here. They, they want to be on top of the point table. The other team is just right there on top of the point table is Gulfar al Mistad. It was a true professional all round performance from them. Good one. Very good one. Right arm. Over the wicket and good line in length. This is a beautiful delivery from Zeno. Everybody wants to be in the top of the table because uh, that's where the advantage lies. So if you win the two matches continuously, uh, you have an added advantage. You know the conditions, you know the uh, uh, you know your resources, you know your bowlers, you know your bats, batters. Absolutely. It's a very short tournament. It goes for it as he got Good fielding effort there. I'll just get a single on this occasion. Again, it's a league, pro league T20 Ramzan Cup. It's a late night. Starts at 9.45 p.m. Uh, Qatar time. And the guys um, have done a fabulous job. Not only the players in terms of uh, the ground staff, all the volunteers, the, the pitch has been uh, playing a real good job. As it's, we have seen one of the best pitches, Curator has done a fabulous job in terms of bringing such a good surface. It has not only helped the seamers, even the spinners created a lot of uh, bounce in this pitch. Bipin Kumar to continue after two hours, 7 4 1. Oh, swing and a miss and the good collection behind this time. The Rifa is the wicket keeper batter for Tusker. It missed the bat and also missed the wicket. Otherwise it would be a curtains. 
it would be it's a absolute ripper from bipin kumar he just knows where to pitch the ball he knows uh, the strength of the batsman absolutely experienced a baller in the side of tuskar bipin kumar full of one uh, just try to play that direct it would have been very very interesting just got a feeling that i missed maybe few inches away from that uh, stump <coughs> yeah that would that would be a case they had uh, already have an unnecessary run out uh, this also was not required but uh, luckily he survives one man i i would like to see his performance again prem sagar just uh, picked up the ball he was the man of the match in the last match even though they lost it uh, he got four wickets Oh, that's, uh, that's that was quite unbelievable from on prem sagar came from nowhere and produced those four important wickets in one over uh, that that's the type of quality oh here there is a chance missed by the fielder if it would have they would he would have collected it cleanly then there was one more uh, wicket there it would have been 8 for 2 absolutely that was shakir i guess uh, the the captain himself was a little sloppy out there in the mid off region just not able to collect the ball on time and uh, throw back to the bowling and the if the captain is like uh, virat kohli he would have vivid uh, of himself uh, he always want to be best in his field absolutely oh again quick one from bipin kumar swings and just not able to get the connection on this girl is turning out to be a good over so far so good from bipin kumar it's almost uh, ended up in a run out if he could have taken that it would have been a easy run out and the batter struggling there just taking his own time uh, just get the feeling that it's so ripped into the right hand batter abdul samad uh, struggling there in the middle a falcon cc uh, having won the toss earlier captain has decided to bat first Yes, talking about the skipper Adnan Khan, the captain of uh, Falcons, uh, is quite aware of the situation. Uh, how they're going to go about this innings? What they need is at least minimum 150 runs against a good batting lineup of Tusker. Yeah, uh, yes, because uh, even uh, not 150, maybe 120, 130 would be a crucial one uh, by looking at the conditions we have seen uh, in the previous game. uh they just have to uh, they just have to uh, make sure that they don't lose wickets in a regular interval uh they are re rotating the strikes on a regular interval and uh, they are just pushing uh, not uh, pushing away too much uh, they need to be very careful about the spinners as well absolutely it's all about uh, keeping the momentum going uh, they need to stay there and keep a cool head go for those 3 to 4 overs check this surface how it's going to fare with the batters abdul samad and uh, anas two batters out there in the middle he goes back has he got enough bat on it i don't think so field underneath has he taken no just looked at as if he has taken the wonderful catch a uh, two field is underneath the ball it was always very tough need to have that call it's whose ball is that it be very interesting to see the replay of this one uh, see the see the main uh, issue over here is uh, they don't call for the ball we have seen this in a uh, uh, couple of uh, matches uh, over here uh, in the ramadan cup that uh, people don't call for the ball if it is their call they have to call for the ball then only it will be easy for the other person to take up the call absolutely it's one of the lessons a basic lesson you need to uh, make it as a habit when you play such a short format especially t20 or t10 any levels uh, you need to call it's my call it's my ball then it be make the other fielder because when the ball goes up in the air it create a lot of confusion 
when it's going to come it, it's a judgment process will take time so they need to have that call it's very very important as you rightly mentioned Anas and Abdul Samad they survives again with that drop catch moving on after three overs 10 for one on this occasion it's a good shot just finds the field at the edge of the circle no run conceded Zainuddin continues three runs conceded from his the first over Falcon Cricket Club 10 for one when Tuskers uh, are in this situation they have to go for the chances they have to take the catches uh, they need to win this match at any cost uh, so that they can uh, survive this tournament uh, further Moving on, Zeno. Oh, drifting towards his pad, his protection out there in the deep fine leg region. Good placement. Now the power play is on. Only three fielders allowed uh, outside the 30 yard circle. Shakir, as the captain of this team, Tusker has got fantastic players in their uh, lineup. The only thing is they need to rebuild this team and get into the winning streak. It, it's a quick league match. Pro League Ramzan Cup 2023 is progressing here in Mazar Cricket Ground, Qatar. I will look at this one again, ripping towards the right hand batter. It's not giving any width whatsoever. Quick delivery from Zeno. It's always a treat to watch. Yeah, that, that, is a, that is a good delivery, but uh, he capitalized it very good. He pushed it towards the empty region. Uh, there was a two in the picture, but the fieldsman was very fast and uh, he was very quick to collect the ball and throw into the keeper. So this kind of field actually uh, helps the team to uh, build the pressure to the batsman. Uh, because if you have seen now, the, the over is already 3.3 and it's a power play and the s uh, score is just 12. Yes, that's still be the up in the air. Catches the call. Has he taken? Yes, on this occasion. No mistake whatsoever. Shakir, the captain, straight to him and it's a well taken. Uh, deserved that wicket. Zainu getting reward for that. Back of the length delivery. Have a look at this one. I went for a shot. It's it's uh, nipping. Never easy when you go for the back of the length delivery. He wanted to go for a pull shot. Getting a leading edge and ended up a safe hand of Shakir. They lost another wicket here and they are struggling 12-4-2. We are already in the fourth over. Wickets are the key for Tuskers, uh, whereas Falcons have to build the momentum, build the innings so that they can score uh, at least 100-110. Because by the rate they are going in the power play, uh, we can reckon that they, 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 can, they, they will not be able to reach into that phase. Unnecessary shots, uh, taking away uh, risk unnecessarily is not required. Certainly they have to think now, they need to stick around for uh, two to three hours, just get the feel of that surface. Men in black have done really well in the first outing, but on this occasion now uh, they are being not able to get runs on the board, have lost two very important wickets up front, courtesy to Zainu's some terrific deliveries and also a run out caused them quite unnecessary well, what they need to do now Adnan just walked into the middle a very good batter in the side of uh, FCC has played really well in the last game now his, his innings is going to be very crucial here this partnership Hannes is there 3 from 4 Check, taking his own time we are in the 4th hour 2 to go Zainu's looking good Couple of deliveries left in this over. Here we go. Adnan has to play the captain's innings. Well pushed. Uh, he will not get a single towards the point region. This captain has to play a uh, big innings here. He needs to lead from the front. They lost wickets. He came out to came out a little too early. Just in the fourth over. He may not have anticipated uh, the total. Uh, he, uh, he won the toss and elected to bat first. He was trying to capitalize the score. But uh, by looking at this, uh, the score, uh, I hope Adnan doesn't, uh, make, uh, doesn't think that he made a mistake of taking batting. Have a look at this one. Again, quick, a lot of pressure for the batter. Zeno is, is, is showing his content 
very very intent is very good from Zeno that's what exactly Shakir needs from his uh, one of the finest ball and experienced campaigner Zeno Dean has produced uh, just a couple of runs have a look at them four four one from two overs uh, that they need this kind of partnership that from the bowlers as well Zeno and uh, Bipin Kumar there might be a bowling change uh, Shakir will bring another bowling baller into the attack they've got a uh, lot of uh, spinners as well Mohammad Shaheen run out. Prem Sagar was too good with that accurate throw. Abdul Samad uh, just wanted to play towards that uh, mid wicket. Um, a little lazy shot from Abdul Samad ended up a safe hand of uh, Shakir Zainu getting a wicket. And uh, Anas to continue the bat along with uh, skipper Adnan Khan. It's all happening here in Mazar Cricket Ground. Sh Qatar, one of the finest arena to conduct cricket tournament. And QCA have pulled off another beautiful tournament, Ramzan Time Pro League T20 Ramzan Cup 2023 is progressing here. And it's good to see you, uh, Mr. Riaz, alongside with me as my co-commentator. Hadar, it's great to be alongside with you. Ball in chain straight away, waiting for them. Pass call, reckon, batter, just shuffle like Rosa Creeds. Probably the reason it don't give the wide signal. Okay, maybe it has uh, brushed his uh, uh, leg on the way towards the keeper. So Azhar is bowling, uh, uh, Mohammad Azhar will be bowling his uh, first over, whereas it is the fifth over of the power play. Yes, Mohammad Azhar was quite handy with the performance in the last match as well. A very useful bowler. You can utilize him in the power play and even the middle over as well. On this occasion, is slightly drifting towards the leg side. It's called being wide. 2.88. That should be the worry for the captain. Just not even having... Now the run rate is just shooted up about 3. Uh, uh, whenever a left arm seamer comes into picture, we we always think that okay, that that's a, that's a good uh, option for the captain for the fielding side, because left arm seamers we have seen there are very great left arm seamers uh, in in and around the world. We have a start right now. We had a better one, Vasi Makram, who was a great in swing. He who oh, is bowling that left arm quick uh, bowling, uh, probably you know I could uh, think about Irfan. Oh, Irfan Patan's kind of action, not so much running, it's a short run up and it creates the kind of angle which would definitely trouble the right hand batter. Exactly. Look at that angle, it's just maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 steps. Check this one, backward point, had no chance to stop that, all the way to the fence, a good work there at the deep. It was travelling at some speed towards that boundary region. Deep backward point comes to the picture and stops. Saved few runs, at least two runs. Yes, couple of runs conceded in that. In uh, India also have produced a number of uh, uh, left arm seamers. We had Zahir Khan, we had Irfan Patan, uh, Nehra. So we had a number of uh, left arm seamers. We are India is missing right now one. Well, I don't think India is missing Ashish Nara's services. He's there everywhere. Oh, this gun goes again through the fence. It says there's nobody in that absolute vacant area. A much needed. Have a look at this one. Swinging away from the right hand bat, using complete use of the pace of the ball, and just had to angle into that deep extra cover and bringing that uh, a very good boundary. Oh. Talking about Ashish Nara, he is there everywhere. You cannot uh, miss him from the action. No, I'm, I'm missing him from the action. I meant uh, he's not playing uh, <laughs> around right now. But yes, he is there. Sensible, very sensible. Just push towards uh, for a single after getting a much needed boundary. This is what um, you need to do. Now, it looks like they are going to build a partnership here. Anas and Adnan, they need to use all his experience. Adnan is too good. The captain himself uh, having a word with his partner. Now this is a big game, even say managed to win this one, they would sit comfortably at the point table, right on top of the table, along with the uh, golfer. <laughs> As they're charging in, slightly into spad, play towards the mid wicket protection out there, Bipin Kumar, a throw comes in, Rafai, behind the step, talking about Rafai, I've seen him play uh, plenty of beautiful innings. 
over the last uh, the recent times in Qatar in many many grounds is a brilliant batter if you watch him from that other hand now his innings when they come out bat is going to be very crucial for Ruska If you see the over by over uh, uh, statistics over here, they were very good in the first four overs, but uh, this is the over which uh, they have given away runs. That's eight runs, but uh, it is a peak. Good evening everyone and good evening to Hunan Khan and the Combox Hunan. Yeah, good evening, Raza. So Falcons off to a reasonable start here, twenty for two. Well not quite a reasonable start, is it? Twenty for two in five overs there and a bit of spot of bother, I would say. Yeah, Nick back in, pulled away to the fence, beautiful shot. Yeah, it just goes away, it just goes to show his class, goes to show how quick, it, quick of a batsman he is, a flick of the wrist, and off she goes to the boundary. Oh, that's a magnificent shot there, great hand speed, swiveling on his hips and pulling it away disdainfully for a boundary. It's a good shot. Excellent shot there by Anas. It was not too bad a delivery, was it? Nipping back into him and came at an awkward height as well, but he managed that quite well in the end. On oh, this again, he was sure he was there once again for the shot. Direct hit, direct hit, and the umpire says not out. Yeah, good over so far for the batting side. They really need to catch on, take advantage of this power play. Good bowling by Bukhari. So far, he's got three dots, a single, and a wicket. Let's see how far he gets to this over. Let's see if he can finish this off on a high note. Another good delivery, and that will end the first over after the power play. That is 36 of 4 after 7. Falcon CC with their backs against the wall as Prem Saga has been introduced into the attack to further tighten the screws here. It's really good to see the slip. I know you might question that on end, but I think it's a good approach to have at this stage. 
at the attacking mindset. They've picked a four. They're, they're looking to pick up a few more here because they know a couple of wickets here, uh, the floodgates would open. Yeah, just just waiting for that for that perfect step. Just had to call off the delivery. They need one or two good overs here. Do the Falcons? And off he goes again. There's something wrong with the with the pitch. I have to have a look at it. Is the bowlers? Yeah, is it the uneven point. surface or is it slippery? It could be something like that. And he's just uh, he's called off the delivery for the second time in a row. They might need a bit of sawdust to fix things here just to keep it nice and dry because the last thing you want here is an injury. The umpire is signaling towards the support staff and they're probably going to bring some sawdust to dry the surface. As we look at the batting card, only one batter so far managing to get into the double figures. Anas Nizamuddin, 22 of 15. It was a brisk start for him, but he gave it away just at the wrong time. Mohammed Shaheen Nadusamad opened the batting for Falcons tonight. Didn't really trouble the score as much. As we are back live. What a brilliant shot. Yeah, Prem Sagar finally happy with that pitch. Usmani played a good innings in the last game. And his team would need him to play another good one here tonight if they are to post a respectable total anywhere near if they are to get anywhere near a respectable total tonight A good delivery there by Prem Sagar, just uh, drifting it away from the batter. Rattled he was, Usman. Gonna have to try something different here, the best one. They need runs, they need a res they need a good total, a respectable total, like um, my co-commentator mentioned. Uh, good delivery. Taps it away, he's gonna be no run. Another dot ball. So it's interesting, we've seen this pitch offering some purchase to the spinners tonight and when I was there earlier, just before the toss, I saw that the pitch had some rough patches in it. And the grass, uh, we'll get back to that after this ball. Brilliant, brilliant drive by Usman, he's going to go straight to the fielder, he wants a second, but um, yeah, safe alternative to not go for that one. So I'm just getting, coming back to the topic of the pitch, we did notice that there were some dry patches and the grass had become dry. And we see instant result of that and the... Slogs at it again this time through the on region, vacant region, goes to the field. Are they going to get a double? Just a single 39 for 4 off 8 overs. Yeah, getting back to the to the topic of the pitch, you, you mentioned that the grass had dried out. What do you what do you think about? It? What do you think is this a spinning wicket, uh, a fast bowling wicket, or a batting wicket? Yeah, I think. Well, we'll get back to that after this delivery. Yeah, slogs at it again. Fine leg, 
Bit of tension out there, and he's out. Is he? Yes, he is. Oh, there's a bit of oh, there's a bit of an argument there between the two batters. He wanted the run. The non-striker didn't want the run, and uh, off he goes. Usman. Well, Naveen. Well, that's poor running, well, poor coordination between the two batters, and a wicket given away, a wicket gifted, and Usman, he, he was, they were banking on his batting tonight, they were hoping that he would go on and score some runs for them, he's been out, run out, as Falcons go into a deeper hole, as they are 39 for 5. Yes, yeah, so I do think, Hune, that there, there's been some assistance on offer for the spinners this evening. We saw that in the first game. There was some spin on offer, not much, but just enough to trouble the batters. And in this game so far, we've seen with the introduction of spinners that the runs have dried out. Oh! Brilliant as delivery by Bukhari. Lovely delivery there. Almost touched the off stump. That was close. Too close, and Velnavin Kamara has to try something different here, or else he's going to be out in these soon deliveries. I mean, that's what, we, what you were asking me earlier, Hunan, about the pitch. And there's the evidence right there. Oh, he's gone straight up in the air. We'll have to see if this is a catch, is it? No, it's cleared the boundary. It's gone over for half a dozen. Well, yeah. it didn't look like a convincing shot at first, but he certainly seemed to have got a good piece of it. Yeah, it was a bit missed time. He, he got underneath the board, um, but there was just enough power to get, get it through the boundary. Nothing the fielder could do. Watches just sail over him, goes for six, and uh, yeah, a bit of tension released for the batsmen out there who want, who want a good score, who want a score of 150, 160. The bowling side is good. They're good bowlers, and they've lost five wickets in quick concession and that was a much much needed boundary Oh, good delivery. This time spinning it into the right-hander. And uh, want the double. Yeah, well, Naveen. He's a, he's a good batsman. He's got, he's got a good bat. But um, just needs to work on the, on the communication. They're just running a bit. Yeah, just against the run of play. Naveen hitting that six. Just what the doctor ordered for for them at this stage. Yeah, Tarek is using the bail to draw on the pitch. Bit of an artist there, isn't he? Leg stump, covering the leg stump. Goes to show one of uh, reminds you of someone that serves in the West Indian Xavier Stamps. Yep, Sunny on the right. <laughs> Chandrapur. <Yeah, yeah. laughs> Yeah, and getting back to the topic of the pitch, what what do you think? You had a look at the pitch um, after that first game. This is a bit of a used uh, used wicket. What do you think? What the wicket is offering? Do you think if the Falcons get to a score of 120, would it be a, a defendable total? Because the last game was a low scoring one, and um, and yeah, it was a, it was a low scoring low scoring thriller. It was really it was a nail biter. We were on the edge of our seats. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think it's certainly going to be really competitive if they get a score around 120 and 130 tonight because as you rightly pointed out, it is a used wicket and there is some wear and tear as we can see from here as well. You know, it's particularly helping the spinners. It wouldn't be too bad if you 
can swing the ball into the right hander as well as a bowler and get that reverse swing going as well because these are dry conditions remember so anything around 120 130 with the kind of outfield we've got and the kind of assistance that this pitch is offering i think is going to be highly competitive Prem Sagar back into the attack. And they've got a slip in place. Interesting to see. Bowled him! Off go the Bills. Prem Sagar has got another wicket. Well, his first wicket. 47 for 6 they are. The Falcons, that was a brilliant delivery. Absolutely fantastic. And drifted it. Just used the, the spin. Yep. Off she goes. Off he goes, Tarek. Well, the wicket really wasn't in, in contention on that occasion. It was a delivery right up in the block hole. He simply missed the line on that occasion, playing down the wrong line and exposing his stumps as that ball rattles into the off stump. Tarek has to make his way back to the pavilion. He's gone for one. Yet another wicket as we talk, Hunayn, falling to a spinner tonight. It's been a spinner's delight this evening. Yeah, 100%. I think the captain of the, the team just needs to just keep the spinners on. And um, if they get another four wickets, it, it will be, you know, an early innings for the Falcons here. Yeah, I think it's so it's imperative at this stage that Falcons don't don't get disheartened. I know the score is less and they've lost lo lots of wickets, but we've seen from the first game that anything around that hundred mark between hundred and uh, hundred and twenty could be highly competitive. And uh, in the last game we saw that it was almost defended as well. So they've got to keep going. Just try and stitch a partnership together at this stage. A bit off topic. What do you think about the kits? Yeah, I think they've been really well designed and uh, colourful. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's what I said yesterday. It was a they they really are well designed, proper for T Twenty cricket. I especially like the the black ones. What do you think? Yeah, I think and they're really conducive if you're playing with the with the white balls. It's much easier to see a whiter ball coming off uh, the hands of a bowler wearing black. And uh, well defended by uh, Adio there. Good front foot defense, just what they, just what they need right now. Prem Sagar is trying to break into the, to his defense there, just trying to get round the, that bat, maybe onto the stump. And if he tries to drive it, there's a slip there as well. Yeah, good defense. You don't want to throw your wicket away. You've got four left. You know you're four scalps away from a terrible total on the uh, on the scoreboard. That's not something you want as as a as a proper batting side. And uh, once troubling, again, troubling again for for him with his with his footwork there. Just has to work work on on getting used to this this wicket here, Prem Sagar. And he's topped it. He has top edged it. Who's gonna get it? The keeper gets it. Well, what have you done there? What have you done there, do you? And he's gonna be dissatisfied with that shot, especially. He tried to go for the slug sweep. It didn't work. Top edged it straight to the keeper, and off he goes. Well, that's poor batting. Has to be said. His uh, sides back backs against the wall. They've just lost a wicket. And rather than supporting Naveen at the other end, who's looking relatively good, Adil has a rush of blood, and he he, and he ho tries to hoik one across the line, leading edge, and straight into the hands of the keeper. And uh, they further go down, and go down in deeper trouble. New afternoon, Miftas. New 
batsman. And uh, yeah, just had a chat with, the, with his partner there. Just try to just stay in your wicket right now. You can't lose any more wickets. You've got 10 overs left. 10.2 overs left, rather. Yeah, taking a leg stump. Just need to work on his defense. And uh, it doesn't really matter if he goes away with a double wicket made in Prem Sagar here. Yeah, well left. And uh, I said, this is brilliant bowling by Prem Sagar. You've, you've got a grid. You've got to give credit to him. He's, he's, he's been brilliant tonight. He's only bowled two overs. He's taken, he's taken three wickets. And oh, has he got it? Has he got it? The umpire gives it out. Oh, he's gone. No, eight down. The Falcons are eight down for 47. It is all happening here at the Qatar EMCG, the Messi Cricket Ground. Mehtas goes after playing just two deliveries. This is absolutely brilliant by Pram. Absolutely fantastic. Take a bow, mate. You've got four for three. You legend. You might as well be staring down the lowest total of uh, this tournament with Miftas getting out LBW to Prem Sagar on that occasion. That's his third wicket of the over, uh, and it's also a maiden. An icing on the top, it certainly is. And as we talk and we look at that worm, it's uh, a bit wormy at the moment. And we'd like to welcome Shalzar back as uh, Falcons are in a bit of spot of bother here. Shalzar, 47 for 8 they are, and we're just into the 11th over. Thank you so much, Raza. And uh, I was just watching uh, from the dugout of one of the team. It was fantastic effort from um, Tusker. He lost the first match, and it's a very strong comeback. And uh, Prem Sagar again... Uh, too good with that uh, ball has taken the wickets uh, much needed uh, breakthroughs whenever the team required and the Tuskers uh, they put him in the f driving seat again Bukhari oh again again it's a change swinging away from the right hand batter well Naveen K11 from 13 Walid Ahmed there and uh, FCC struggling at this moment 47 uh, for 8 after uh, 10 overs This is all happening here in Missile Cricket Round. What we could see is a fantastic effort, as I just mentioned. Uh, Riyaz alongside with me. Uh, Tuskers have uh, pulled off things uh, smartly here against a uh, high flying Falcon CC. A complete being outplayed. Yeah, it is completely outplayed. Uh, uh, they are just 47 for. They have lost uh, eight wickets, and spinners are doing tremendous job. I goes big. Has he got enough bat on it? Reckon it's a maximum. It's out from the park. What a good shot. They needed a uh, few shots like this. At least get into 75 or 8. But the problem with them is they have only two wickets left. The team 50 finally for FCC. Courtesy was a beautiful hit. Magnificent one from uh, Well Naveen. It's a, it's a well directed, well executed uh, half a dozen for him. I'll take them a lot of confidence uh, to this young man there in the middle. Uh, he is lacking uh, partners on the other side. Uh, so if you have seen the fall of wickets, uh, you see on the regular intervals there was uh, mistakes which, which is not required. Uh, they were running the runs which is not required. There were two runouts which is completely uh, unnecessary. Then they were uh, slog sh uh, shots. Uh, which they should have avoided when they saw that there are uh, lots of wickets falling down. So they could have anchored the innings better. Well, all the damage has been done already. Now it's all up to them how they're going to finish things off. Uh, the tailenders are here, whether they can uh, knock it around and get some runs on the board, at least a decent runs on the board. 75 to 80, they will take it. Uh, they've got uh, bat uh, ballers who can uh, defend this FCC, but uh, isn't it too low? chance another run out direct hit would have been very very interesting we saw one direct hit from one of the most experienced players Zain who was too good up 30 yard more than 30 yard and 40 yards he picked up and threw directly to the stump 
It was a treat to watch Zeno is producing that direct hit. Have a look at the bowling card. Bipin Kumar has started off really well. Two hours seven, and it's a beautiful economic rate as well. Zeno with a pick of the baller for sure. Three hours 19 two, and a weak run 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 out as well for Zeno. Mohammad Azuruddin one over eight, it's too good. Bukhari three over 16, a wicket, and the Prem Sagar two overs, one maiden, three runs and a three You can't ask a better performance than this when it comes to a 320 cricket. Hey, that, this is great. Uh, and uh, if, if if at all we have uh, seen it uh, very clearly, now there are 54 balls remaining. Okay, that's a beautiful shot in the air. Oh, what a shot, what a shot into the uh, boundary. One bounce boundary, I reckon, uh, waiting for the umpire si signal. Well, look at this one. Uh, well, Naveen has played a couple of very good shots. This one among them has uh, used the pace of the ball. It's a little quick, drifting away from the right-hand batter and deposited outside the park in style. Well, Naveen started off this over with a magnificent six. Prem Sagar, 9-4-3. And uh, it's going to be very interesting. The next five deliveries in this over. It's take three wickets and nine runs. Now yeah, nine runs because of the uh, six of in this over. On this occasion, to the offside, there is a protection. And now off is the fielder there. I will just, uh, just a single will bring back uh, Walid back to the crease. So uh, what now uh, the Falcon has to do is, uh, there are uh, nearly uh, 50 balls remaining. Nearly 50 balls remaining. So they have to anchor their inning such a way that at least they can take that 50. So the total moves up to 111 at that point of time, which is a competitive total. Absolutely. Now it's all up to Walid and uh, oh, chance uh, just dropped the man. It almost looked like a second slip, wasn't it? Uh, it would have been uh, a brilliant catch if he had taken his hand underneath that ball. Just not able to grab it in the last second. Prem Sagar almost got his fourth wicket. Yeah, that was uh, that was drifting the w towards uh, off stump. Uh, he wants to. He wanted to have a cover drive, but uh, thick outside edge. Akash couldn't uh, capitalize the ball. Uh, the game is not at over. This innings, uh, all eyes on these two players in the middle, Val Naveen and uh, Walid. Walid have to just uh, rotate his strike so that uh, Val Naveen can come and hit some uh, decent uh, shots. <coughs> Straight to the fielder there, no runs. Uh, we are just in the 12th over, plenty overs left, 8 overs after this. Uh, they have only 2 wickets, that should be the worry for the captain. That is a serious worry actually. Walid Ahmed, a uh, sensible thing for him to do is take that single and bring back Naveen back to the screen. Oh, asking the question. I think it's it's like before wicket. It's plum. No hesitation from the umpire to raise his finger. You know what? This is absolute plum. There's no doubt in any part of time it is going to be a big, big trouble. That kind of delivery is produced. Look at that. Drifting towards right and quick one and no connection whatsoever. It's just looking at the stump. What no, uh, Walid, Walid was uh, thinking whether there was an uh, inside edge, but uh, uh, again, as I told you, there is no review system over here. So if there was a review system, we could have known it uh, better. But uh, to the naked eyes, uh, we, uh, we saw that it was a plump exactly in front of the wickets, exactly in front of the middle wicket. So umpire had uh, no doubts in raising his finger. The only thing which could wrong, uh, which could go wrong, or which could be a doubtful in the scenario, the height. Mm. It created a little bit of bounce uh, in that surface. That's the only thing. Even if there was a DR system, that could be the height factor, nothing else. But we have something called as umpire's call, yes, <laughs> my dear. <laughs> umpire's call is uh, always the thing which uh, actually uh, Virat Kohli has uh, always has its laugh. If I, if it was me, I was out. Uh, you remember that uh, once when uh, it was not given out for uh, it was not given out for a couple of uh, person he just come came to the mic and he told uh, no if it was me it was out <laughs> absolutely yeah, I, did, I do remember that so it comes to an end a fantastic over again prem sagar in spite of conceding that big six from the very first ball he delivers came back strongly after that one and a couple of runs had taken a wicket uh, like before wicket again uh, tasker is pretty much back in the game 
Yeah, we can see the scorecard over there, except Anas and uh, well, Namin Kumar. Nobody has contributed uh, to the score. Uh, 20 uh, 22 from uh, Anas <coughs> and uh, 25 from uh, well, Namin. Others all are in single digits. Uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, ducks. Uh, I am sorry, there are three ducks. Couple of the three singles, and there is a two. So uh, it is uh, nobody has contributed, and you see that as I told you, there is unnecessary two run outs which happened uh, in between uh, the innings, uh, which started with Mr. Shaheen and uh, Usain Rahat also was also one of them who was uh, run out unnecessarily. Uh, they did not come back strongly in the second game. They have played really well against Titans in the fourth match of this in tournament. Uh, they they got into 140 runs to be precise. Uh, Falcons in that and uh, the opposition team Titans were not able to chase it down. They won the match uh, at least uh, for 20-30 runs but today it's being a completely different day. Absolutely no wind blowing in any direction. No support for any batters. But you got to give credit to the frontline ballers. Bipin Kumar has started off really well. Look at that. Two overs considered only seven wicketless and as expected uh, Prem to come into the attack and produce those kind of uh, Quick wickets again uh, put Tusker in the driving seat. Exactly, uh, Shazad. Uh, we we have seen uh, number of good deliveries. We have seen b uh, good fieldings. Uh, there was couple a couple of sixes which is uh, hit out of the park. There was couple of boundaries. In spite of all these things, we have seen that uh, Tuskers have managed to uh, restrict the team for 63 uh, for nine. So it is good going for Tuskers after they lose the first match and they have come back really very strong. Uh, believe me when I am telling really very strong, the 63 for 9 is extremely tremendous. And I will tell you something about this Tusker team. There are a lot of people who are sitting there in the pavilion and the stand. There are plenty of supporters for uh, Tuskers. All these friends, those guys who are playing now. The friends are watching them, they are supporting them, encouraging them. They are all having a very good time out there. Yeah, I, I know personally one of the player over here, there was a Bukhari who bowled uh, the left hand. Uh, there was a spinner, if you see, I personally know him. He is the best spinner or better spinner I have seen. Uh, uh, he plays for uh, different teams uh, in and around uh, Qatar, uh, maybe Amara or uh, maybe this one. He plays for uh, different teams. Oh, again, ripping into the right hand by Rufai. Just being little lazy all the way to the fence, a much needed boundary on the process they've got four runs completely beaten by the batter and the keeper as well look at that swinging good pace and a nasty awkward bounce for the keeper this could be the reason if I was just not able to grab it talking about the fans for uh, these players Zainu has got a lot of fans around uh, Qatar so plenty of supporters from even for Rifai, Bipin Kumar everybody has got a lot of fans following they all go and watch these guys playing in different formats, different tournaments. Exactly, you can see a bunch of guys were sitting there. When I was sitting among them, all friends. Yeah, if you have seen this bias, if you would have uh, missed that inch that said this side, it would be a f uh, fire runs because uh, it there was a helmet lying over there, which is the carelessness of the keeper. He should have given it uh, back. So if it was into that helmet, it would be in five runs. So uh, there was a flick and uh, one runs taken uh, for the flick. But uh, we need to be very careful when uh, uh, when the fielding side is uh, actually fielding. The, all the obstacles has to be removed so that uh, they don't give extra runs. This was unnecessary runs given by the keeper. Absolutely, but the batting team will take it. They they needed some runs, and it was uh, a lucky run for them. They need uh, plenty of lux Also goes in favor. Right on the block hole. Has he knocked him over? What a good piece of delivery! Just for a second, I thought he was playing towards the mid wicket, but too much of quick pace generated by Bipin Kumar. It's a treat to watch him. He's knocking the stump. It all comes to an end. Have a look at the replay again. Yes, and it's created a lot of pace and it's banked. Super piece of bowling. It's, it's a very good in swinger. You saw the ball pitched uh, well outside the off stump and uh, directly dipped inside to the leg strain. It is an absolute uh, blinder um, by. Yes, Bipin Kumar is the baller. Have a look at the batting card and Mohammed Shaheen. Just one not able to go move on. Abdul Samad 
not too good today as not being contributed up front uh, by the top or a batsman of Falcons. Anas uh, played a few good shots. He was uh, very good in the first game. But on this occasion, Todd kept going. Adnan Khan, uh, the captain, uh, not able to contribute as well. Naveen played a superb innings uh, under pressure, 26 from 23. And after that, if you look at this, it's 1-1-0-0-2. One, one, zero, zero, it's, uh, it, it's not looking great at all. And uh, it's all about Prem Sagar. Prem Sagar is coming again into the attack when the team needed and produced those important breakthroughs. That's exactly the reason Falcon CC have lost all their wickets. Just in 12.3 overs in a 20 overs match, you've got to give credit to all the bowlers. Exceptionally well bowled by Prem Sagar. Yeah, absolutely. We were speaking uh, the same thing before the tournament as uh, this match has started. If you have, you have told me that uh, he had bowled extremely well uh, in the last game as well and uh, uh, he's back again. He was the man of the match in their last outing, even though the team lost it. I was having a chat with the Prem uh, during the man of the match. He was too good. He was looked very, very confident. It's uh, one of these days you will get man of the match award. Being in the loser, you, you were the losing team, but still you got a man of the match. Bipin Kumar too. Nan Zainu walled really well uh, this evening. And it's all up to uh, Prem uh, who has... Uh, was the hero of this uh, bowling attack. We have an innings break. We'll be back in a while for the chase.
Good evening and welcome to Missile Cricket Ground. The chase is going to begin in a while from now. Falcon CC has not up to their mark in the first innings, uh, but Tuskers, especially the spinners, came to the party and produced uh, those match-winning performance. Especially Prem was a treat to watch this evening. The run rate required is only 3.45. Alongside with me, Mr. Honain, have a very good evening and welcome. Yeah, good evening. Welcome to you too. Yeah, like you said, Prem was on song today. He was just a delight to watch. He was delightful, brilliant, brilliant bowling, using the pitch, getting that extra spin in, just, just rolling the fingers towards the end. What a bowler he is and what a bowling performance that was by, by Prem. Absolutely. And uh, if you look at that last match, they, they lost the match. Uh, Tusker, but uh, he was the man of the match, Prem. In spite of losing streak, uh, he was the best performer of this match. The last match, uh, Tusker had placed, played against uh, Hurricanes. They, they had convincingly won the match. But today, it's a totally different, another day which is completely outplayed. And uh, they are in the position where they can uh, wrap this thing off in the 10 overs if the opening batters uh, can come and uh, start playing few very good shots up front they can uh, win this match very very fast to do the job for them Sanu alongside with him Akash two very good players up front to start the proceedings for Tusker and to bowl the first over from uh, Adil the opposition team Falcon CC Adil to bowl this one a quick Pakistani pace bowler yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy to see another Pakistani uh, quick coming in. Look at that. Would you look at that? A ke the keeper almost standing about 20 yards away from the wicket. 20, 20 feet away from the wicket, rather. And he's got two slips in place. Yeah, this is going to be nice to watch. He wants, he wants those wickets. He's going to have this attacking, attacking field on these, uh, these Tuskers. Here we go. First ball. Oh, brilliant ball. Just brilliant. Well capped there in the end to a deal. And just swinging it, nipping it outside the off stump. Out swing. Bit of, bit of a deal, Ahmed. Good bowling. Absolutely. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty surprised to see those two slip fielders up front. But uh, uh, it, it's as expected. They are looking for those quick wickets. If they can take quick wickets, it's the only way they can put pressure back to the batting team, come back to the ma match. This is a low score game. They just need 69 of 19.5 overs, which is going to be easy in the book, but you never know. Well, yeah, definitely. Let's see what Adio does here. Oh, good bowling, good bowling again. This time just through the vacant region. He's going to get off a mark quick, Akash. So after winning the toss, Captain Adnan Khan has elected to bat first. But none of their players, none of the top or the batters were not able to perform on this day. That's the reason they were bowled out for 68 runs. Now it's all up to Adil Ahmed and uh, the other bowlers to come and do something very, very special up front if they want to get back to this game. Yeah, I just feel as if the, uh, uh, the captain didn't really uh, read the conditions too properly because the previous, in the previous game, the captain, uh, he chose to uh, to ball first, actually, and he, and he then did win the game. Uh, brilliant shot, pulled it away. That's going to be four runs. Lovely, just timed it, middled it. Everything about it was absolutely perfect. In the box, it was a bit too short. And Sanu, yeah, he's off the mark only from his first ball. And that is a brilliant shot. Absolutely. Just uh, turn it around and just had to place it towards the vacant area. It was, everything was there in the delivery pace. The batter just had to get that important placement was really good. That's the reason he got that boundary 
to start things off already five runs on the board asking rate is just 3.28 A good ball again, a deal. Yeah, good fielder there too. Just part of the pressure on the batting side. They don't want to leak any more runs here, speaking from a bowling perspective, whereas the batters, they just want to keep on scoring, keep the scoreboard ticking, keep it going. You know, not, they don't want to stop. They don't want to they don't want to have a dry patch and then put themselves in a situation where they can't even score or or chase 69 of, of the 20 overs. Now 64 of 19.2 at a, at a run rate of 3.3. .3, so... Let's really see what happens here. Yeah, down the leg side. It's going to be a wide this time. Adil just losing his line in length a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, the slip just telling him to sort of yeah, just keep it in, keep calm, keep cool. And if they can't get wickets here, if they can get early wickets early on, Adil, if he gets a couple wickets here, you yeah, might as well have a good shot at defending this low total. It's never easy uh, when you're defending this kind of target uh, total. It's just 63 of 19.2. It's a tedious task, but as you rightly mentioned, early wickets is the key. Good ball again, and uh, great fielding too. Is it going to be a run out? Is it going to be a run out? No, it isn't. A bit of missed field there, and uh, it could have been a run out had there been better fielding, but we move on. Tell you what, one one bowler which is definitely going to come and play a crucial role. He's going to roll his finger as well. Shaheen, the one man uh, you can see them on the screen, is one of the spinner. Yeah, Shaheen uh, Charfidi. Down the leg side again, another wide deal, just sort of losing it. And he doesn't want to do that, but taking out the slip and then then and, and, and they put him in the in the gully region. What he wants to do, he just wants to keep his line, keep his length, keep his calm. It's very important for a fast bowler, not giving away too many runs, which is, well, he's already done. He's already given seven off the five balls that he's bowled. And uh, from his body language, he doesn't seem like an aggressive fast bowler, which he should be. Does he have a slip? Yes, one. Another great delivery. Good delivery by deal. Good comeback. And that ends the first over of the second innings. It's going to be seven for not. A look at this uh, batting card. There are plenty of width in their batting. Vipin Kumar is an all-rounder. He got Rifai, he got Zainuddin. He got plenty of players in the middle order. We can do the job for them. It's all up to the opening batters how they're going to start the team. Start for this. Uh, it's a low-score game. 62 of 19. It's looking very, very easy. Asking rate of 3.26. It's all up to Akash and Sanu to be there at least for 5 to 6 hours play some good shots and they can take their own time they have time to settle there Walid Ahmed another quick baller into the attack yeah good ball Walid uh, another misfield you don't want too many of those and uh, one of the second so they already had a run rate of six now and they need three only which is really interesting to see because it's a really low score. If the openers can can take it down to the target of 69, and the only way they can put pressure was in the taking the wickets. Oh, upish, upish aerial, but um, yeah, not good enough for the fielder to catch it. Just wasn't in his area. Not not in that region where he could catch it. Good ball by Waleed though. He started off with a couple of dots. Yeah. We get a clear picture of this game right after the power play. I reckon um, this depends on how they're going to play the first six overs. They managed to keep the wicket and get at least 40 runs under their belt when they finished the six overs. I must tell you this is going to favor the batting team. 
Another good delivery and good fielding there. Oh yeah, a bit of aggression, bit of aggression and a smile to follow with. Yeah, we'll lead brilliant over so far. Speaking from a batting perspective, yeah, you just need about 30-ish, 30 30-odd 30 runs from the end of the power play because, look, these are quick bowlers. They, they're trying to bowl. Um, uh, they, they want the scalps of the, these opening batter, batters. And uh, getting early wickets is never a good sign for a batting team. Never, ever. Are there another good ball? Is it in the air? It is, it is, but not good enough for the field to catch it. They will be desperately looking forward to uh, early wickets. And I just have a feeling that all this quick Pakistani pace bowler can create an impact up front. Yeah, 100%. This is, this is brilliant bowling, really. And he just was just leading edge. Had there been a fielder there, it would have been curtains for this batsman. But, yeah, so far, so good for the batting team. And let's see if he can produce anything extra here, anything special. Here we go. Pulls it away nicely. Is it going to go to the fence? Yes, it is. The outfield doesn't fail the batsman this time. And he pulls it away nicely to the fence. It brings the score up to 12. Yes, yeah, have a look. He was a bit hesitant to go back on the, on the back foot, but he did brilliantly. And off he goes. Four more. Lovely touch during that occasion. Then he, what he has done really good is he found the gap in deep mid wicket. Absolutely no chance for anybody to stop that ball. And all the way getting right there to the fence, a much needed boundary. They need to look for those odd boundaries in between uh, rotating the strikes. 12 runs on the board already. Yeah, just a bit of a run up issue with the ball there. Not that big. We were actually discussing the the pitch earlier today. What, what do you think? What do you reckon the pitch is like now? Because it's well, I mean, it is the second innings of this last game, and we're down to the final eighteen overs. Or should they ball the eighteen overs out? What do you reckon? Well, we'll come back to you on this after this ball. Wider, wider off this time. Will he just losing his cool a little bit? Got to work on the run up. Yeah, just looking at it. Got to do something about that, but. Let's come back to last evening. There's not much of do factor, I reckon. So it's not going to help those. Uh, the ball is definitely coming into the bat. But I wonder, it was, it was a very good effort by the spinners. It's helping the pin spinners, though, not having that moisture that do. Let's come back to the last evening, as I just mentioned. Go for the appeal. It goes for the appeal. Is it going to be out? And... Uh, no, it isn't. He's going to end his over. He's given away six runs, one of which being an extra. It is 13 for not at the end of the second over. Moving on, after two overs, current run rate of 6.50, Sanu and Akash. Uh, it's not a bad start for the batting team, Tasco are up against uh, a team who had won their first outing. Uh, in the one of the top teams so far in this tournament, Falcon CC. Here's the deal. Yeah, good ball, just to... to Need to work on the on the line there. Good length though. What Adil need to focus on uh, is length and line, very carefully, especially in this uh, six overs. If he can produce the early wicket, that's the only way he can bring uh, back this match into this favour. Otherwise, it's going to be Sanu and Akash will be definitely targeting those bad balls. Uh, it's going to be punished. Uh, too good. It's a power play. They have all the freedoms to play above that inner circle. Any width is offered towards offside or legs is going to punish. 
A good ball again, but even better played and uh, another misfield there. Oh, you could see, well, you saw the amount of water that that jumped up. Just goes to show what what the humidity is. The caper is having trouble catching the ball too. There's a lot of deal, a lot of moisture there, and uh, yeah, this might be a total um, a, a batsman's game. So especially when you're having uh, dew, uh, is it going to help the batting team or fielding team? What do you reckon? I think I think this favors the the batsman to be honest because they they're chasing and and, and the fielders are going to have trouble fielding and, and catching the ball and the bowlers are yeah it's all about the grip really. you you can see how frequently they they're bringing out their towels from the back trying to drive the ball up so everything went uh, into the favor of Tusker uh, they they have been asked to field first by the captain who won the toss earlier. Adnan Khan. Yeah, good ball. This is the length you want. This is the length you want. You want to pile on the dots. You want to pile on the pressure and get the batsman to play a rush shot and then get him out. Yeah, good delivery by Adil. At this moment, run rate is six, exactly. Adil Ahmed charging in again. Yorkerland this time smashed straight to the field and mid-off. Who stops it wonderfully, really. The captain Adnan made a brave decision of batting first on this pitch. Difficult wicket, this is. And so Don't far, so good from Adil. Sorry. Uh, they're going to take their time and uh, play their shots. It's not going to be easy even uh, for Tuskers to win this match. Taps at it again. Good fielding. Actually grabs the ball this time, Vinny. I know direct hit. Appeal is it? Yeah, all fine there, games. There was a direct hit, uh, but I reckon the batters already uh, reached on time. That's the reason they are non none of them are excited about it. Again, uh, talking about the QC umpires, I've done a fabulous job uh, throughout this tournament. So, but today is being the sixth day of the tournament. And tomorrow we got half when we back cover the second stage of this tournament on Saturday. So everyone can take a break tomorrow. Uh, is it is it is a slide down leg umpire? Well, what have you done there? A look blown from the com box, maybe a different angle from the umpire. Yeah, yeah, just sliding down leg, yeah. Definitely. Good bowling by deal though. I reckon it's uh, drifting towards the legs. That's exactly the reason the umpire said no. He had a very close look at it. It's angling towards his leg side. Uh, it was a quick delivery as well. Three overs completed. Uh, they are roached to 16 runs on the board without losing any wickets. Having lost the first match Tusker need to come back very very strongly minus one is the net run rate they had uh, completely been outplayed by the opposition Hurricanes in the first outing on the other hand Falcon CC have uh, a very strong run rate of 0.2 they were up against uh, Titans they won the match though Tusker has to come back very that's what exactly they, they are in a position where they can win this match. It's all up to the opening batters, how they're going to play for the next three more overs. As I rightly mentioned, after six overs, we can get a much better picture about this uh, match, how it's going to go. Oh, good delivery again, we'll lead on that occasion.
Is it outside edge? Is it outside edge? No, it isn't. The Empire says no. There are no reviews. Yeah, just down the leg side, a bit short around this time. We need not a good delivery, needs to get back into the line. So Walid Ahmed uh, started off well in this hour after one point. We just considered seven runs. Net run rate 5.1. So asking run rate is very interesting. It's the 3.12. 52 of 16.4 overs, even if it was 16 deliveries. They can make it, what do you reckon, 16 balls, 52, possible? Well, yeah, definitely. These They look like a good pair, don't they? Inside edge, is it going to run off to the boundary? Slow off field again. Shaheen gets there. And uh, it's all happening here. It's a Super Thursday double header this evening in Mazal Cricket Ground. As you rightly mentioned, uh, MCG. Mazar Cricket Ground of Qatar. Yeah, the Qatari MCG. Qatar's MCG. Yeah, it's a big ground. You've got a nice wicket resembling to that of uh, the MCGs. Good ball, but an even better shot. It's a straight lofty drive, and it's gone outside the park for a beautiful six. Akash, you beauty. What a shot that was. Look at it. Yeah, just got in, just wide above stump, got into the box, steady arms, and off it goes. Everything was good about that shot. The moment he got in right underneath the ball, used the body weight, went for that, that optics kind of lofted cover drive, and made sure that he, he did get the distance as well. That just reminded me of uh, Virat Kohli playing this kind of shot when he's in real song sometimes, you know, just put that cover drive and he 100%. makes sure that it goes into the stand. Virat Kohli is one of those players you can play any shot, to be honest. He's a 360 player. And that lofted drive is one of his signature ones, if not probably his signature one. And Akash could possibly be the next Virat Kohli. Who knows? Let's find out. Uh, another bad delivery, and uh, Fielder's going to have to do some work there. As he does. And then going to get a single. Yeah, good batting by Akash. There's no need to really play all those rash shots on the good deliveries. Find out the bad balls and, and, and just hit him up for, for sixes and fours. And that's how you're going to get to the, the target. There's no need to lose your wicket. Having said that, uh, the, the six which he got from that, which is not a bad ball at all. There was nothing wrong with the delivery. Oh, swinging Yorker in. And that's going to be the end of the fourth over. You know, 26 for not at a run rate of 6.5. Okay. 
Well, moving on. Honain long sat with me. Uh, must be really pleased about this performance of Tusker. What do you reckon uh, if you were a supporter of Tusker? As you can see, plenty of supporters are sitting there in the pavilion. There's a dugout they are using. Uh, mm. the, these players have got a lot of fans. Mm. They do, they do. They're, they're a popular bunch, aren't they? They're the prime league, the, the professional league, and you can just see with the way they feel, the way they bat. Muhammad Shaheen, the one uh, man I was just talking about, uh, he is the one who can pull off things for uh, Falcon CC. A very slow orthodox spinner. It could be very, very handy. Has done this many, many times. Has taken wickets. Yeah, off he goes again. all happening here in Mazar Cricket Ground, uh, round rate uh, 6, 4.2 overs. Oh, a lofted one again. Has he got enough? I reckon it's a boundary. It's travelling at some speed and using the space of the ball. Mohammed Shaheen normally is very good with those flight deliveries on this occasion. Look at that. The spectres inside out shot. Akash as the second boundary. It's done really well. 16 from 19, they are looking like they are going to get into this target within uh, another 10 overs or maybe less than that. Uh, things are going very, very good for Tusker at this moment. 30 runs already on the board, the required run rate. Uh, it's just 2.52. Couple of dot deliveries and uh, he played a fantastic shot. On this occasion, uh, he's trying to get into the deep mid wicket. Is he going to go all the way to the fence protection out there in the boundary? Uh, just get a single. They don't need to take any extra risk at this moment. Yeah, no, definitely. They just need to uh, they're keeping their um, creases really just just no need to, to play any rash, any stupid shots. And, you know, so far they, they've played, both of these guys have played brilliantly. Really, for this pitch, for this slow outfield, 17 off 20 and 9 off 8 are good scores for I think he's dropped it. Oh, I think he's dropped it. Was it an edge? That's what exactly he's asking the umpires. Was it uh, Nick uh, to his pad? Probably that's the reason he's asking the question. Mohammed Shaheen conceded the boundary in a single. Apart from that, it's a good over. Just five runs so far. Can he finish it off with one dot? Uh, Try to swing it out to the deep mid wicket region. There uh, will be a fielder. I'll get only a single to keep the strike back for the next over after five overs. Tasker, 32 for Nolos. As moving on, uh, Samad into the attack. Well, Raza is welcome back to the comp box. It's all happening here in. Uh, in the favor of Tusker at this moment. It's all Tusker. Look at that shot again. They'll find the fielder. After uh, being dismissed, the opposition team with less than 100 runs. It was a clinical performance with the batter. It started off really well. Sanu, 10 from 11. Akash played a couple of very good shots towards that deep extra cover. It was a treat to watch as well. What they are trying to do is uh, try to get as much as time and decrease and uh, get into the target. 
Thank you, Shazam. I think it's been a clinical performance here by Tesco CC. It seems like more of a walk in the park for them as of now. If they go on, uh, as I just mentioned, when they finish this uh, six overs power play, if they manage to get at least 40 runs, it's going to be a walk in the park for them. So no doubt about it. I think 37 need a 14.4 overs. Uh, it's just a matter of time now that this run, the, these uh, these runs are chased down. As we see Sennert whipping it away for a single. Abdul Samad, this is his first over. In, they need a bit of a miracle here, do Tusca CC, if they are to make a comeback in this game. Absolutely, they need somebody to, to come and uh, get some quick wickets. That's the only way they can come back to this game. Isn't it too late? They already got 5.3, 33 for Nolos. Oh, this time playing a mess. He was trying to cut that delivery. Wasn't quite there. It was too close to cut on that occasion. Not quite getting the connection right. Straight through to the keeper. They haven't lost a wicket. They're under no pressure to play any rash shots at the moment. And as we mentioned earlier, I think it's just going to be a matter of time. As, as you rightly mentioned, just a matter of time. It's all happening in the favour of Tusker. That's nicely played. Driven straight down the ground. Couldn't quite find the gap, though. I think it's a good opportunity for Akash and Sano to spend some quality time in the middle and just get their eye in you know they've got no pressure here they can play their shots freely and maybe do some experiments as well it's considered just a single so far abdul oh nepak and it's a right very good pace of bowling and you can't forget uh, you need to have somebody who can just ball an unbelievable couple of overs to bring them back taking those quick wickets you never know it's it's a, it's a funny game the low scoring games are always very tricky when they go probably it might go to the round the wire as well I mean, look at this uh, bowling card it is absolutely wonderful Adil 9 from 2 Walid 16 from 2 Mohammed Shaheen decided of 6 and Abdul Samad just one run conceded after 6 overs uh, with an extra 5 33 for Nolos Yeah, I think, you know, it's uh, that state of the game where they're going through motions more than anything else. You look at uh, Falcon CC, maybe they've got a few things to learn from this game. It's more a matter of experimenting with a few combinations here. And this time he goes up, he goes up and over the point fielder. This ball is running away towards the boundary and uh, it will roll over. So a really good shot. The first ball of that over by Sunnut, full Monty, giving it a, giving it a full Monty and uh, making sure that he clears that field and clears the fence as well. Having seen the slow outfield in this ground, uh, it was a terrific shot. Just made sure that he reaches to the boundary, the much needed one. Yes, they tried to put a little bit of pressure in the last over, but this over started off well for Tusker. And this time he's pulled it away. I think there is protection down there, so it's just going to be a single, but runs are coming easily and freely at the minute. Muhammad into his second over. is uh, given away five so far in this innings. This, this is the first over after the power play, remember? And the two batters are sitting pretty. Yes, uh, sitting very comfortably over there. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, uh, this is all up to, they need to spend quality time right there in the middle. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever for these two batters in the middle. And this time it was short, he's rocked back onto the back foot and he's found the gap as well, but courtesy of the slow outfit, oh well, that was a bit of a mess there by the field. That should have been stopped. Just allowing that ball to go through his hands and a boundary. Well struck though, he found the gap and the timing was quite magnificent. He found the gap and he found a misfield as well that uh, got him that the boundary. Moving on, Akash 21 from 25, Sanu giving him the very good company at the, in the medals. 16 from 15, it's all happening, 27 need now. 
But occasion trying to cut that ball away has been a predominantly offside dominated over so far. Two boundaries both coming towards the offside. One a cut, the other one a cover drive. The strong offside player is Akash. And this hand was wide, too wide really, not being able to judge the line on that delivery. He was going after that one. Akash could have been risky, could have been... Uh, curtains for Akash. As it turns out, it's a wide delivery. The only man who could bring some uh, damage uh, for Muhammad Shain, the one who is bowling now. But uh, he is also being a little expensive in this over. I reckon uh, not that performance. Uh, Muhammad Shain is predominantly a wicket baller in playing in the side of uh, FCC. And uh, they were depending on this man to come and uh, get some magical spells and do some miracles to get some important wickets yeah, up front. I think unfortunately Falcons just don't have the runs on the board, you know, so there's no pressure whatsoever on the batting unit at this stage, you know, and I'm not sure if uh, Muhammad is as motivated really at this stage. As we look at the over by over comparison, Tuskers way ahead with their building blocks as we see the red towers towering up and high way beyond the reach of the blue ones. So another single here to Sanu, who's worked that ball away. So 12.5 uh, overs remaining in this game, and uh, the target 24 at 1.87 to the over. Not much of a game left as we talk. On uh, that occasion, it was right up in the block hole. There's a mix-up there, and it would have been all over. The batter had given up the ghost, but fortunately for him, it just did not hit the stumps. It would have been very interesting if the direct hit it was not there in the scene at all. And uh, you never know I mean, if, if this kind of wickets, uh, run-outs can uh, put little pause to this run chase. Yeah, we've seen a few run-outs this evening. And uh, that could have added to the list, and this time nicely flick. It was into his pads, helping it on its way, and he rushes back for the second, and, well, he didn't really ground his bat there, Shalzar. And uh, that could potentially have been another run out. Yeah, it's a bit lazy over there towards this uh, you know, follow-through when you're about to reach the crease. The basic lesson is you need to extend your arms and try to put your bat as much as possible into the crease. It's something which you need to learn, uh, which is more of practices. Akash, 25 from 29. Whipped away once again. It was hit forcefully, but goes straight to the fielder at long on. Another single. They're milking the bowling at the moment. Our Tesco CC. Two balls remaining in this over. Oh, nicely played, up and over. He's hit that beautifully. He's gone straight to the field there, but it was a really good shot right through the line. It wasn't quite a bad delivery. As you mentioned, it's 49. It's a partnership of 50 runs. It's chasing down a uh, low target. And if they go for another two to three overs, it's going to park and walk in the park. Absolutely. There's no pressure at all. Yeah, I completely agree with you there, Shalzar. Uh, this has been quite an easy game for the Tuskers. But it's a game that will give them confidence going forward in this tournament. Take it to the next over. Mr. Riaz is going to join uh, just 19 from 12 overs. So it's me, Shalzar, just taking a leave from for the time being. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Raza, for being here in the comp box. It was a pleasure to be with you. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you very much. And we'd like to welcome Riaz to the con box as we head towards the twilight of this game.
Thank you very much, uh, Raza. <coughs> the score is 50 after the completion of eight overs. Good runs, only 19 required. They have to just take singles or doubles, or even they can finish it off fast so that uh, they, they will be on the top of the table with the good run rate. I think that's a good point, really. You know, it's it's about boosting your net run rate at this stage. Come the penultimate stage of this tournament, they would want to be in a good position. As you yeah, uh, if you have uh, seen the batting throughout the innings of these two opening batsmen, they have uh, made sure that uh, they have taken the risks, but uh, calculative risks, and uh, they have rotated the strikes. Uh, and or other than that, one... Uh, a run out chance which they had uh, if there was a direct hitter that would be a uh, uh, there would be a wicket fallen over there in the last previous over until then they played a very good innings they have maintained their momentum they have uh, used their feats they have used the, uh, their experience on uh, pulling the bat uh, where uh, where the fielders are not there and uh, they have done extremely well uh, up to the eighth over so let us see how exactly they'll move forward with uh, those 19 runs required in 12 overs the run rate is way below two so it would be a cakewalk for uh, this uh, team yeah i think it's a bit of a cliche at this stage but it does seem like it's just a matter of time now as usman has been introduced into the attack that's probably a good move by the captain just giving his young gun an opportunity to roll his arms over. <coughs> Sanu will take strike, is uh, on 18, almost a runner ball 18. Well, a bit better than that. And this time, a bit of improvisation there. He's coped it away. He's away to the fielder as well, and this ball is running away on this outfield, which has gotten better as this tournament has progressed. Very well played, a bit of innovation. Oh, that was a good improvisation from uh, Sanat. Uh, he saw the bowler, he's a new bowler, Usman. Uh, the Falcons are trying out a new bowler to give him a chance so that how exactly, because there, there's nothing to lose uh, from here. So even uh, the batsman Sanat uh, saw uh, the opening and he t uh, took it uh, positively. This time he's used his feet and he's got a good piece of that over mid-wicket. It's cleared the boundary as well. The umpire is waiting for the signal from the fielder. Yes, I think it's half a dozen. He'll raise his arms and six runs it is. Oh, that was a tremendous shot. Uh, he's in a hurry to finish and uh, go home very quickly uh, because uh, still only nine runs required in remaining uh, balls. That's a good, uh, good piece of batting uh, by Sanot. He's at 28 uh, from only 19 deliveries, whereas Akash is uh, being anchored in innings 31, uh, f uh, 26 from 31. So Usman, there was a, a, a bit of <coughs> uh, dead ball over there. He tried to run, run up, had some problem. Once again, using the feet and hitting it really very hard into the sky. And once again, a maximum add into the total. And right now, yes, he is in an urgency to finish this innings. Only three runs required, and they are doing it very easily, very comfortably. That is a tremendous shot by the batsman, Sanat. So they're playing, they, they, they knew that they wanted a better run rate and they played accordingly. At the beginning it was uh, from the bowling end and now these two openers have done extremely well. Whereas Sanat is the key man. 20 deliveries and 34 runs. A flighted delivery. But he is very happy to take that single and uh, rotate the strike. So two runs required. So uh, he has given an Akash an opportunity to finish the uh, proceedings because he was a good anchored uh, innings uh, by Akash. And yes, he is hit it very hard in the sky. Chance of a catch. And fast wicket falls. That's a tremendous catch. Something to smile for uh, Falcons.
and Usman is the man who has taken the wicket. It was a flighted delivery. Akash wanted to finish it uh, like Dhoni, but straight into the hands of the fielder and uh, wicket to Falcons. That was a good innings, uh, 32 deliveries, 26. He had made sure that his team is uh, in a good position to win this match. Very, very good position actually. Only the last ball remaining in this Usman's over. He came back strong after 4, 6, 6. He's been hit from his uh, first three deliveries. Just two runs required. And they have taken that single and uh, they have leveled the scores. So just one run required in remaining 11 overs. So after the completion of 9 overs, we have the score 68 for the loss of 1 wicket. Umair is a new bowler to bowl the 10th over, only a run away from the victory for Tuskers and he has hit it misfield and uh, they have won the match. What a tremendous uh, win for Tuskers, uh, they have uh, won this match with 10 over 5 overs remaining, 10.5 overs remaining. So good piece of uh, batting and also uh, good piece of bowling from them. So. Tuskers uh, need not uh, require much because uh, Sanatullah has prevailed uh, extremely a good uh, batsman by scoring 35 by just 21 deliveries whereas Akash Babu who, who had an anchored innings having 26 from 32 deliveries and uh, the, they have given away 6 extras uh, that's a good piece of batting by both the openers Whereas there is nothing uh, good for the bowlers uh, except Adil who has uh, given away just uh, 9 runs in his uh, 2 overs and Abdul Samad 7 runs from 2 overs, the rest everyone had gone for runs. So that is curtains for, uh, that. that's a good piece of uh, batting and also bowling by Falcons. So coming to the match summary. Falcons has won the toss and elected to bat first, whereas Well Naveen was the only batsman along with Anas to score 26 and 25, whereas tremendous job done by the Prem Sagar who took 4 wickets uh, for 12 in his 3 overs. Zainuddin was also following up uh, with uh, 2 wickets, 19 runs, Bipin 8 runs with 1 wicket, whereas uh, nothing match for the bowlers for uh, Falcons. Only Usman, uh, who took away the wicket of uh, Akash, Sanat and Akash, has done a tremendous job. That's it from the commentary box. Me, Mr. Riaz Mohammed, signing off for today. Thank you.
Oh, welcome everyone to the presentation ceremony. We've had an absolutely fantastic game here tonight as Tuskers won this game against uh, their arch rivals Falcons by nine wickets, which means this group has come all alive. We've had some magnificent performances tonight. We've had Zenuddin who's got two wickets for 19 runs. We had Anas who scored 22 runs. But there was one performance that stood out tonight. We'll call that man onto the stage. But before we do that, I'd like to call upon Mr. Christopher Raja to the stage to present the Man of the Match Award. Mr. Christopher Raja. Thank you. So the man who stole the show tonight clearly with his uh, guile and uh, leg spin, Mr. Prem Sagar, I would like to invite you to the to stage and have a word with us. Thank you. Thank you. Prem Sagar, you made a bit of a habit of this. You know, you were the man of the match in the last game and the man of the match again. What are you doing right? Tell us. Uh, well, uh, I'm so happy that uh, we won the match today. Uh, I was able, able to bowl well and uh, it was not easy. The dew was there and uh, the ball was not gripping. But uh, in the end, we did well and I look forward for the next matches. Thank you. Right. And uh, tell us about your strategy going into the game. How do you prepare for the game? Uh, nothing much. I'm focusing on uh, the good length areas. And uh, I'm not trying anything different. I'm staying with my positive to bowl on the right uh, length and line. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, you did really well. You did a great job. And it was a masterful performance. And we hope to see more performances like that from you in the future. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got from the presentation ceremony. We'll see you soon.